Let's take a quick look ahead to 2019 and the further reforms that are coming in next year. So in 2018, we had 20 new GCSEs and 12 new A-levels introduced. And 2019 is the last big year of reform, with a further 25 new GCSEs and 19 new A-levels coming in next year. One of the interesting areas is languages, where the reforms are being phased over three years. So in 2018, we saw French, German and Spanish. 2019, we'll see most of the other languages come in. And then there's a few that will come in in 2020 of the smaller entry languages. One interesting thing happening next year is A-level maths, when of course most students will take the reformed qualification for the first time. But there was a 2018 series for the reformed A-level maths available too, for students who sat it in one year and went on to take further maths. So that does mean as well that you have an extra set of past papers there to help with your preparation for your year 13s taking A-level maths in 2019. Now all of these new GCSEs, AS and A-levels, have new content and new assessment, so do look in detail at the specifications and the sample papers and make sure you understand fully how the qualifications have changed. In particular, look carefully at any subject with non-exam assessment, because the rules and requirements have changed significantly in most cases from the legacy qualifications. So make sure you're clear on what you have to do for the new specifications and don't just assume that things are the same as they were. For example, in languages, teachers now have to conduct and record the speaking tests. In PE and performing arts subjects, there are strict requirements around capturing the right footage. So do look at the specifications and understand what's needed. If in doubt, you can speak to your non-exam assessment or NEA advisor. Your exams officer should have their contact details, and if not, you can give us a call and we'll put you in touch with them. One final thing, pay particular attention to GCSE computer science. As you might be aware, Ofqual are changing the requirements of the programming project at the moment, so it's possible that the requirements for the non-exam assessment in GCSE computer science will change from year to year over the next few years. We will contact you and make sure that you're up to date, but do pay particular attention and make sure that you're teaching the right version for this year.